Look, it's full of abscess. Hey guys, for an open gate, are you alright? We are here with João Paulo from Brutos do Casqueamento that we came to do and we are going to help this animal that has a well-grown hoof. And the hoof was enlarged and it looked like an animal that we posted it and put there on YouTube for you. And guys, it ended up screwing a barbed wire. It ended up screwing on the end of the hoof, which got stuck in the hoof. We'll see if it hit any sensitive part of it's just the hoof. And John Paulo will start working on it, and we will accompany the whole procedure for you. We'll go later. We're going to record the removal of the excess of the hoof because it grew a lot. The animal got a kind of Aladdin shoe. And but it seems that was nothing serious. Apparently, only a piece of wire that was left in the pasture ended up twisting and tangling. Well, let's go, guys. But look at people the size of the hoof. It was it is well grown. Well, you can not tell if there is some kind of larvae. Apparently, there isn't anything. See, it grew. Point out how it stayed up. Let's go there. There is an abscess on the tip of the hoof. Can you see the hole? Well, around here it's, it isn't, John? Do you think it went too deep, João? It's an, uh, a, a problem, so we'll have to open it to, to see the deep, but it could be coming out from below, in the softest region. And this could be an accumulated abscess. Well, this case is a little serious. Yes, a little. Reminding people that this is a case, for now, we do not need to anesthetize it. Sometimes the animal struggles here, but this is normal, and it does not understand that the procedure is being done. So, sometimes it ends up struggling to be able to let go, but here, for the time being, there is no need for anesthesia.
Wow, it's a lot. Damn, it's a lot, Joe. It looks like it came from the top down. Do you think he, you can tell me if it came from the top down? Well, it's hard to know. It's usually from the bottom up. You can see that where most of it... Take, take a look. Take a look. Inside of the hoof, guys, look how much there is. Just look at the, the hole I told you about. Do you think you managed, it managed to create an outsole in the hoof channel? Well, it is now that this procedure is standard and the entire abscess has to be removed from the hoof and shortly after the bandage that Joan leaves on the hoof, shortly afterwards the hoof is renewed. Look guys how it was, João Paulo removed all that black part, all the abscess that was inside of this hoof and it, it really was very ugly, there was a lot and it really accumulated and came out on top through the hole that I showed you and see how João Paulo did it, a very good cleaning here and the hoof is now renewing itself and it will apply a bandage and it will stay for around 35 to 40 days and then when it is removed, the hoof will be well renewed and much better. Take it out, guys. Check it out. João Paulo has already passed it to the hoof care and now he's going to do the dressing. That's it guys, João Paulo is already finishing the treatment of the animal's hoof. It was an animal that was feeling a lot. And for around 30 days doing the dressing on this animal again. I hope you liked it. Everyone stay with God and see you next time, God willing. Our motto is to listen to those who have no voice to be heard.